When you create a Bicool account with your email, a welcome email will be sent to your inbox. Open the welcome email and click Activate my free trial now to start setting up your repricing central. The link will take you to getting started page. You'll need to connect repricing central to your seller central with Amazon NWS. Type in your store name and choose the marketplace you wish to connect and click connect to Amazon. If you aren't logging to your seller account, you must log in first before you proceed. Once you're logged in, tick the license agreement checkbox and click next. Then click continue to complete NWS connection. Congratulations, your repricing central NWS setup is completed. Repricing central free trial allows you to reprise up to 5,000 listings and to use all the features including the $50 plan. To begin repricing with repricing central, you'll need to create your first repricing rule. Click add repricing rule on the getting started page and then click add new rule. Six simple steps are there to help you create a repricing rule. On the rule type page, there are five default rules you can choose from. Target the lowest price and target the lowest FBA price are rules set to compete against the lowest price. Undercut the buy box price and undercut the buy box price oscillate are rules set to compete against the current buy box winner. Match buy box allows you to match just the buy box offer. Users can create their own rules by selecting custom rule option. In terms of strategy, target the lowest price is designed to be more aggressive and to guarantee that you are always competitive with your price, even when you own the buy box. Conversely, other default rules are designed to undercut the targeted seller by one penny and to raise your price once the buy box is yours. Now, choose a rule you wish to reprice your listings with and click next. Second step, competitors. Let's you select the competitors you wish to reprice against or not reprice against. After you set how you want to define your competition for your repricing rule, click next for your next step. For the step get the buy box, you need to set how be cool should reprice when your offer is not in the buy box. There are many competition scenarios for you to tweak and define. For example, you can set Bicool Repricer to reprice differently based on competitor's type of fulfillment. Click next for the next step. The fourth step, stay in the buy box, lets you design your strategy to maximize your time in the buy box. You can adjust how you want to raise your price when you obtain the buy box to maximize profit, how to lower your price to stay competitive and much more. You can disable stay in the buy box setting if you only wish to reprice based on the conditions you set in the previous step, get the buy box. Click next when you are done. The following step is schedule. You can set a schedule for your repricer to resume or pause. There are two types of schedules, repeater schedule and fixed date schedule. If you do not wish to enable repricing schedule, you can leave both settings as off. Click next to review your rule. Rule overview gives you a rundown on your rule setting. Click the pen icon to revisit the settings you defined the previous steps to make further adjustments. Save and finish when you have finished checking your rule settings. Rules that are created will be displayed on the repricing rule page. Hover your mouse cursor to the action pull down menu. You can add it, copy, or delete an existing repricing rule. This concludes the getting started tutorial on end up disconnection and repricing rule creation. For more information about other features on repricing central, you can watch the tutorial videos on our YouTube channel or you can check the Be cool support page.